Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. Today I have been touring a micro hydro system and I wanted to talk to you about the electronics found on this system. Let's go over each component and what it does and how it's helpful in an install for micro hydro. As you can see, there are several things required to get the electrical side of micro hydro up and running. So let me start off with the very first thing. Power from the permanent magnet alternator is coming into the house right here. It's this gray wire coming in. And this is three phase AC. It's not usable by a house because it's too sporadic and also it's three phase. A house doesn't uh, use that in its electrical system. So this converts three phase to DC. And so the DC or direct current voltage comes down these two right here and goes down into a breaker. This will allow the homeowner to disconnect the system from the hydro outside. From there, it goes up here to a charge controller. And this will basically tell the hydro turbine at what speed it should be turning at. So if we zoom in here, you can see this unit has about 540 watts coming in from the hydro. It's produced almost eight kilowatt hours today. And the batteries are just about full at 54.1 volts. 10 amps is coming off of this hydro unit. After the power has come into this unit, it is then sent down to the breaker box to be turned on or off. And that power is then going down here to the battery storage. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's the EG4 brand. And this is 30.6 kilowatt hours of storage. Quite a good bit of power here. All of these batteries are connected up to become one big battery. So if I look over here on the side, there is a rail system in this rack, and that is the negative side. And over here is the positive side. And you can also determine that by the red or black cables coming out the top. Now, each of these batteries has a dip switch that has been turned to allow it to be a position in this rack. So for instance, this top battery is battery number one and it has a data cable coming into it right here by this white cable. It's hard to see, but each battery has its own cable which links together. Each of these batteries has a BMS, or battery maintenance system, inside of it, and they're all linked up together to come out of this one cable here and tell the next component, which is the inverter. The inverter takes the DC power from the batteries and converts it into usable AC power. Uh, didn't mention, but there's also an AC or a, a DC breaker down here to disconnect the batteries from the inverter. So whenever the homeowner needs to use either a 240 volt or a 120 volt appliance, this inverter will then supply the power to that circuit. So if you look down here, there is three wires coming out. The white one is the neutral. And then the black and red are the uh, two different sides of the 240 volt power. And that just simply goes up to the main breaker in the house. The black, red, and white wires that we saw from downstairs are going into the top of the box. One side, let's say the red over here, goes to the right side and the black goes over here to the left. And the center point is this white wire, which means we have 240 coming into this panel and each side has 120 volts. And that concludes a brief overview of all the electronics here on a 500 watt micro hydro system. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. If you're looking to install your own micro hydro system, then check out the link in the description down below to Langston's Alternative Power. Spencer Langston is a wealth of knowledge and can help you with your install. I'm Seth with the Land of House channel. If you want to watch more hydro videos like this, then please check out my playlist on micro hydro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.